All right, so here's the problem. You guys on the video can pause this and watch this and read this real quick so you know what's going on. All right, so we're starting with torque equals I alpha. Now going through this real quick. Torque right here. Is it possible, am I allowed in a problem to give you the torque and just say the torque is 20 newton meters? Is that possible? It's definitely possible. It's very unlikely, but it is possible. More commonly, what am I going to give you? I'm not going to give you a torque. I'm going to give you a what? Look, I'm going to give you a force, okay? And then the torque is that force multiplied by R. And that R, so here's torque, that's going to turn into force times radius. This is the force that you apply, all right? The radius here is the distance you apply that force away from the point that the uh, thing spins around. So again, like if I was on the door right here, if I push on the outside of the door, my radius is on the outside of the door to the hinges. If I push on the inside of the door, now my radius is only from where my hand is to the hinges, so it makes it a lot smaller, okay? So that's what's typically gonna plug in for um, torque, force times radius, right? Equals I. I, it's possible that I give you I. The I is 20 kilohertz meter. Everybody paying attention here? Everybody's paying attention, it's important, right? Usually though, I wanna give you an equation. You never have to memorize one of these equations. If it's an equation, it will be given to you, okay? You never have to memorize that. So in this one, I said one third ML squared. So I'm gonna put for I, one third ML squared. Now with that being said, Millie already said it. There's four of them. There's four blades that all have an I of one third ML squared. It is not something to overthink. How do I say there's four of these? What do I do? Multiply by four. There's four of them, four. One third ml squared. All right? And then lastly, that's going to be times alpha. This is the important part right here. This is the chunk of this equation of this problem that I want to make sure you have understood. This is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I can talk about 12 for you for a little bit before we go on. But this is how you do those 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like this. All right? Now, this one's weird because it says the force is 10 times the weight. The weight is the same thing as what? The weight is what force? It's not mass, it's close. It's not mass. Weight is what? Force of gravity, which is always, somebody said it. Somebody said it over here. What's the force? FG always equals what? FG always equals mg, right? Does that make sense, you guys? Like the force of gravity is m times g, all right? Four went away. So if the force is 10 times your weight, if it is 10 times your force of gravity, shoot, sorry. How do you say 10 times mg? I literally just said it. 10 mg, right? So my force is 10 mg times my radius equals four times one third m l squared alpha. Right. This is where I believe you kind of put it out. I mentioned the M in here. Obviously, you need it, but I didn't give you anything for M. That's why I did this the way I did. I'm going to show you how this will cancel out. I have an M on this side, M on this side, so they cancel out. And now I can just plug in numbers. And I have 10 times 9.8 times R. I said is 2. I did a bad job writing this problem, especially in the video. I should have told you where that force was applied. I didn't say that. So I'm making it up and saying that R is 2 equals 4 times one third, M canceled out, times L is four, squared, alpha, all right? And I plug that in like that. And I think, I don't know what the answer is actually. Actually, I think it's like nine something. Can somebody plug this in to get the answer? What do you have, Luke? Uh, point nine four. Uh, wait. I don't think it's point nine four, but I think it might be 9.4. No? What'd you get, Millie? Crap. If you're watching this video right now, the class is struggling to get this answer. I'm hoping it is an answer. Addison Stowe, do you have an answer? I'm hoping Addison's got it. We're going to go with 8.28. We're not sure if that's right, but we're going to go with 8.28. I don't like this hand. 
8.28 radians per second squared. On the video, if the answer is wrong, Addison Stowe is to blame. I know a lot of you are watching this. And in the future, if you're watching this video, Addison Stowe was a blonde hair girl sat in the back of the room. Hang on one second, sir. Addison Stowe refused to say hi to me for a good month. And now she's finally saying hi to me. 8.2 is the answer. I'm going to put it on here one more time so that you can freeze the screen. Freeze it. See if you have questions. Text your physics teacher. Oh, gosh.